Hello there, welcome to JJ21K. In today's video, we're going to do a brief introduction to Dublin and the works of James Joyce. In 2014, I started a project to turn all of Joyce's major works into half marathons. And today we're going to run the first Ulysses. We're going to start in Sandy Cove, run to Black Rock, through to Sandy Mount Strand, North Great George Street, and finally Glasnevin Cemetery. And along the way, hopefully encourage you to find a little bit more out about Dublin and the work of James Joyce. Discover Dublin by reading and running. Let's get going. You join me here in Sandy Cove. Behind me is the tower, the Martello Tower in which Ulysses opens. James Joyce stayed here in 1904, the year the novel is set. The novel, like much of James Joyce's work, is based on his real experiences. He stayed here with his friend Oliver St. Gogarty, who begins the novel as stately, plump buck mulligan. We're gonna head north into the city through the city and out to Glass Nevin, and along the way we'll discuss some of Joyce's characters, his life and his works. So let's head off. We're now in Black Rock Park just to the north of where we started in Sandy Cove. As I pan around you'll see the Bay of Dublin that's Hoth in the background which features in Finnegan's Wake and as I pan around Directly behind me, a couple of streets away, is Carysford Avenue, the last house that Joyce lived in on the south side of Dublin. For those of us who are Dubliners, I suppose, and know the city well, there's a big north-south divide, the south being seen as much more prosperous. Joyce, his father, was born into prosperity in Cork, John Stanislaus, but slowly drank the family fortunes away and they moved further and further into poverty. Particularly, they moved to the north inner city where Ultimately, they ended up burning the banisters in the house for firewood. Joyce writes about all of this in his works. It, what makes it so compelling is his total range across the city, both geographically and in terms of the classes. We're heading now to Sandy Mount Strand, past where I believe Joyce's pivotal moment takes place, and we'll head further into the city. We're now on Sandy Mount Strand, some 4K north of Black Rock Park. It's in Black Rock that James Joyce first started writing, creating the character Stephen Dedalus. Stephen Dedalus is uh, Joyce's alter ego, and he writes about him from youth to adolescence. It's in Ulysses that uh, Stephen Dedalus plays the young character, and Leopold Bloom plays the more mature character. They spend their day wandering in, around Dublin and its environs, crisscrossing a few times and meeting in the end, before finally the last part of Ulysses is dedicated to Molly Bloom, Leopold Bloom's wife, uh, giving a soliloquy. Behind me is Hoth Hill, we're in Hoth Head, where Leopold and Molly first rolled around in the rhododendrons. Behind me is Marion Gates, and it's at Marion Gates that in the novel A Portrait of His Artist as a Young Man, which Stephen uh, runs in Black Rock Park, they then leave, the family leaves the quiet, peaceful suburb of Black Rock and they head to the inner north side of Dublin, which is where we'll head to next. Um, when they, Stephen and his mother is on the train, crying on the way into Dublin as they see their goods in two small caravans or trailers making their way into the city. This is one of the most beautiful parts of Dublin. You can see an Irish summer here, where one minute it looks absolutely gorgeous and the next minute I think I'm gonna get soaked. Uh, so we won't hang around, we'll head into Dublin and uh, we'll see some of the city in the Georgian architecture. This is North Great George Street and behind me at the head of the street is Belvedere College. That is where James Joyce went to school after he left Black Rock. He first went to the Christian Brothers, um, but his father had uh, known the, the rector from James Joyce's time in Clongos, and he got a place in this prestigious school. The North Inner City was a tough place for Joyce to come. Uh, it just, just down the street is Night Town, uh, the red light district of, of Dublin, and it's where Joyce uh, started to emerge, where the man emerged from the boy, which is essentially what a portrait of the artist as a young man is all about. We're now going to head off to Glasnevin Cemetery, the last stop on our journey. Well, I mean, it's a cemetery, isn't it? 
Well, we've arrived at the end of the half marathon. We're here in Glasnevin Cemetery, uh, Ireland's largest cemetery. There's over a million people buried here, including James Joyce's parents, uh, John Stanislaus and Mary Jane. It notes on the graves of John Stanislaus of Cork and Mary Jane of Dublin. Uh, it doesn't note that uh, John Stanislaus formed the basis of so many memorable scenes throughout Joyce's work, where he comes in as Simon Dedalus, Stephen's father. There's a great scene in Ulysses here, the Hades scene, where Paddy Dignam is taken from Newbridge Avenue. We ran past it earlier and he's brought here. And a lot of the Joycean characters emerge here, uh, just as ultimately many of them ended up. Uh, James Joyce himself is buried in Zurich. I hope you enjoyed the brief introduction to James Joyce in Dublin. James Joyce is, of course, the most famous Dubliner. But as we've seen, his father is from Cork. He was much influenced by the German writer Gerhard Hauptmann, who was financially supported by the English woman Harriet Weaver. And of course, he's loved and lionised in the USA. He was sheltered and shielded in Switzerland during two world wars. And he ultimately lies there in the Flautern Cemetery in Zurich. If there's one thing I'm going to tell you about James Joyce is don't overthink him. A great place to start is to listen. So you can listen to anything by Jim Norton, but this Ulysses by Jim Norton and Marcella Reardon is a fantastic listen. Dip in, dip out of it. Read the book by his friend, Frank Budgeon, James Joyce in the Making of Ulysses, direct first-hand experience. If you want to find out about Dublin, read Robert Nicholson's book, The Ulysses Guide. And this, my favorite introduction to all of Joyce by Declan Kybird, Ulysses and Us. Thanks for watching.